Hey guys, Gamerzak here and welcome to another one of my Gamer Encounters where we have a look at a game fresh and, uh, well, today we have Everspace and uh, just to be clear, a review copy was sent over to me, well rather a review code for Steam. So I'm here playing Everspace and it's not that uh, uh, I'm just looking at it because I was sent a review copy. Everspace was actually in my 2016 uh, video games to watch in the space category and I've been a little curious as to how it actually plays because it looks pretty, it looks really pretty, uh, but uh, I wanted to know what it's actually like and since they sent over a review code then I decided let's have a look at it. It's by Rockfish Games and this is a PC channel so first of, uh, first of all let's go straight to the options menu and we're gonna have, well start at the top, controls. We got keyboard and mouse and controller, and uh, you can select the control scheme for the controller. Uh, I'm currently using a uh, keyboard and mouse though, so let's have a look at that. And we got rebindable keys, no problem. We'll just set all that as normal. Mouse sensitivity is there, and we can invert things, auto roll if you want. That clicks really loud. Now they're still developing the game; it's not finished, and uh, some of the things are still sort of in the work. So this is not the the final version, but uh, th there's some interesting things. As you can see, I've got continue here instead of new game because I did play one round. Now, Everspace is uh, basically it's well, it's sort of like a mix between FTL and No Man's Sky. Now, before I, I get any flack for saying No Man's Sky here, because uh, I do know what No Man's Sky is like, but it's sort of a uh, it is a lot like FTL. It's sort of this uh, rogue light space shooter with some sort of crafting, resource collecting sort of thing. And, and that's why it sort of feels like uh, uh, it sort of feels like No Man's Sky as well. But there's no planet stuff. There's no discovery stuff, and it's sort of a very focused experience. So we're gonna go ahead and continue here to continue my my run. So I played one time through. I died, and I come back here. Now in this development build, there's only one ship available. And as you can see, there are going to be more. There's a few sort of silhouettes here, but uh, I expect there'll be more as we go along. There's some stats and stuff like that, but let's focus on the gameplay here. Because I did play one round through, I do have some money here, so we can go ahead and buy some stuff. Uh, as you can see, there's weapons, engines, sensor, defense, shields, loot stuff, damage and repair, jump drive, all sorts of really cool things. Um, I think I'm going to... Shows threat level to the map, that's pretty good to have. Device and consumables, energy core. Shield's really useful. I think I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade my shields here. And that sort of unlocks more things. Shield shutdown. Uh, the time is, uh huh, so speeds that up. Increases the speed of shield regeneration. I can't afford that yet though. Uh, those are pretty pricey. Let's go ahead and get the sector scanner, level one. And uh, we could upgrade our ship's hit points. Do I have enough? I do have enough. Current. There we go. Spend some money there. And engine. Oh, that unlocks engine stuff. Max speed. Can't afford that. We do lose money when we start a new game, so you should try and spend everything you can. We have another 387, which is sort of a an odd thing. Uh, we could go for more energy. And that, oh, that unlocks jump drive stuff. Very nice. All right. So as you can see here, I got some stats here, not so much. Uh, I just did one run for about 20 minutes and uh, that's about it. We can go ahead and launch here. So let's jump into the game of Everspace. So I did say it's a lot like FTL and No Man's Sky. So here you can see already- This time, this time I'll make it. <laughs> yes, uh, th there's a bit of a, a voice acting in this. Uh, some, a nice tutorial does guide you through the game the first time you play. So as you can see here, we're floating in space, there's a planet down there, you cannot go to the planet. If you fly towards the planet, you die. There is sort of a, a zone that you should be, be doing here. But as you can see, I can press C up there, I can press C to scan the region. Now this does seem a little familiar to No Man's Sky, <laughs> but uh, I, I can tell you that this is a very different game. So let's start flying around. You can see there's a bunch of stuff here. There's mining drones there, there's a container there, some gas, a laser turret and all of that very cool stuff and you can see I'm equipped with a few things I've got this laser thing I've got light missiles I can switch to a Gatling gun very cool and in the top left corner you can see we've got shields and hull 
So I'm going to go ahead and fly over to one of these things. So like, there's a GNB freighter. What's the closest thing? There's some ore there. So we can fly over to that. And if you hold shift, you do fly faster. Very nice. The controls in flying, much better compared to uh, No Man's Sky. You can strafe left and right. You can barrel roll like that, no problem. You can even go up and down with spacebar and control. So it's all very, very intuitive, actually. We can pick up some resources there. So we can go ahead Do you and reckon there's anything salvageable on this freighter? Probably, but I would not advise it as it may draw unwanted attention. Hmm. Ah, uh, yes. So we could uh, try draw some unwanted attention here. I'm not sure if we just shoot this open. I've never actually encountered a freighter before. But let's try. We can lock on. No, no, we can't lock on. Let's just try. Well, that Bust this was open. Dumb. <laughs> Didn't you know all units in the direct vicinity will react negatively if you attack one? I can see that now, thanks. Oh, we're under attack. Let's try handle this. So here's some space combat. Ah, oh, I'm going to try my best here. Now, I haven't had much practice, but we'll try shoot these guys down. So you got to break through their shields. Then you can try launch some rockets at them. Whoa, that is... Uh, I'm a bit low on energy right now. You can see in the middle cursor, the bottom bar is our energy, which sort of controls our weapons. Fight. And <laughs> I'm not doing too well, am I? Uh, but damage the ship components. One of your ship's main components was damaged, not fully functional anymore. You can repair it with an in-game menu. Okay. No. And no, I've died. No. <laughs> So maybe getting into space combat is not the best idea. KIA, we didn't get very far. Let's return to Hangar. I'm going to jump right back into it. So I basically didn't earn anything. Let's launch again. All right. So third time into the game here. So that was a taste of space combat. It's pretty good. I'm just not very good at it. Uh, but this does sort of... Um, oh, you can see light fighters. So those fighters will defend... Uh, the freighters that we attack. So we got to be careful with that. that. That was entirely my fault. Anyway, let's scan the region again. Everything's randomized every time we start up. Mineable crystals, tech containers. Tech containers are pretty good. Uh, let's go ahead and fly over to one of those because uh, the tech containers, um, they give you new pieces of tech, usually weapons or a bit of armor or something like that. So let's go ahead and find that. Is that inside this rock? Or is it right there? It's right there, I think. So there we go. Beam laser and front shield generator. So here we come across some new tech. Sometimes you can buy things, sometimes you come across it like this, and you can compare it to what you have equipped or what's in space here. And we can swap them to which one we have. So currently we have the general shield compared to a front shield generator. Impenetrable shield in front of your ship for a certain amount of time. I think I want to keep the shield right now, so I'm going to go ahead and salvage what I found, which is going to give me some resources here. And I'm going to have a look at this beam laser. So currently I'm using a pulse laser compared to the beam laser. The beam laser is... Uh, uh, let's try... If I swap it and I back out, my weapon is now a beam laser like that. And the range is probably a little shorter, so I might want to keep with... Uh, no, I don't want to do that. I want to swap it again. Keep with the pulse laser. And I will salvage the beam laser. There we go. So now onto the, FT, uh, the FTL portion of this game. You see that green thing there? That's the warp zone to the next area. So I'm going to mouse over and it's going to start charging up. And this is going to allow us to warp over to the next zone. Here we go. So this is basically the FTL part. Look at that. <laughs> Very much FTL. You get a choice of where to go. You're heading to the end. And at the end of the whole thing, like this jump gate leads you to another sector. The end is still a mystery to me. I'm not too sure what's at the end. This is a Gamer Encounters. I don't know what's at the end. It's a first impressions. Uh, so. I don't really see much difference between these two except for the options it opens up. If I go here, I'm sort of stuck going down that one way. If I go here, we've got three options. So I'm going to go ahead and travel there. Press F to travel. There we go. And we're going to go ahead to the next sector. And we'll have a scan. See That's what's just here. what I need. 
what is what I need? Oh. Oh, we're under attack. Let's, uh... Let's see if we can take on these drones a little better than before. Ah, oh, I can't see what we're doing. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, and while we're doing this, I just want to do this. There is actually an action freeze. I did say this is a pretty game. Action freeze lets you take some really cool screenshots. Look at that. <laughs> I did say Everspace is a pretty game, and this does look really nice. Look at that. Oh, it's fantastic. Lots of sparks and stuff. Let's resume and see if... Let's see if we'll die so right here. Them. Um, there's quite a few. I'm still on the Gatling gun here. Let's switch to the Pulse Laser. The Pulse Laser is better at taking out shields. And then we can lock on and try shoot them with a rocket. Very nice. There's another one over here. Outlaws. Independent operators with varying affiliations profiting from trafficking, extortion, illegal weapons trading, piracy, clone smuggling. Maybe they have something I need. Maybe indeed. This guy's a bit wiry though. That's uh, come on. Almost got him. There we go. And we got some scrap there. Let's uh oh, what is this? A shield breaker missile. Ooh, that could be no free slot. So currently I'm using a light missile with 19 of them. Shield breaker missiles. So uh this is a choice. Do I go for hull damage or shield damage? I think I'll stick with what I've got. So I'm going to salvage that. And let's, uh, there's another bit of scrap here. Okay. There's some gel over there. Let's go grab that. I'm not sure what gel does. There we go. We'll just grab it. And, uh, there's a mine cluster. Is this? Oh, it's actually a weapon, I think. Like a cluster mine, I guess. So currently, oh, it replaces the missiles. We'll salvage it. No problem. All right, now what do we have here? Just containers, tech containers. I could spend some time sort of uh, picking up all of these things. Mineable ore, there is something there. This is a bit of a uh, No Man's Sky thing, mineable ore in space. So I'm gonna go ahead and shoot that open a bit. And you'll see ore sort of comes out of it. There we go, all fully mined. We'll go ahead and grab this though, very nice. And we can just go ahead and move on to the next sector. No need to hang around here too much. Ooh, there we go. And off we go. And we can travel here, here, or here. Again, my scanners are probably not very good. So I don't know which one to really go for. I'll just go for this one. It's fine. The in-game music is actually quite characteristic as well. Now let's see. Outlaw Scout. Oh, we've got some enemies here to deal with. Alright. Now, before I do that, I'm gonna press tab here and have a look here. So we do have a few things we can do. We got some primary weapons here, secondaries. This is our current equipment. Uh, we can repair things. Uh, which, I think our hull is currently just a little bit damaged. So that's gonna be fine. There's our star map, here's our stats, here's our codex. That's coming soon, as you can see. The game is not done. Uh, and all of that's pretty good. What's really useful is when you come across a, a trading ship. So let's go ahead and... Did I lose my scanner? I might have lost my scanner. So it doesn't seem like I can scan right now. So... Let me just try go deal with these guys. It appears we have stumbled upon an outlaw base. Scavengers and raiders of every degree ply the demilitarized zone using these hidden structures to launch operations. I would advise caution on approach. Maybe it's worth the risk. Credits. Nice and simple. Nice and simple. All right, looks like we're doing okay against these guys. Ooh. So you can see my energy weapons take up energy, and flying fast also takes up energy. So it does actually have a, an element of... Ah, missed the missile. Oh, got him anyway. These missiles do home. There we go. Alright, fuel, scrap. Fuel is important. Top right corner up there, that's your fuel levels right now. Because uh, fuel is needed to warp to the next Hostiles area. Hostiles are targeting us. Oh. 
Can I shoot down missiles? I don't know. Alright. Our shield's held up. So what is this thing? Do I just shoot it open? Oh, some fuel. Very nice. Now, close navigation like this is actually quite nice. You can see you can sort of turn your ship very nicely around. There's another outlaw turret there. Let's try and see if we can access this. Because you can have some very precise controls with your ship like that. Look at that. Let's grab that. We can bust that open as well. Oh, explosion touched us a bit there. That's fine. Let's grab that. Could always do with this fuel. Seems like there's another turret here. Oh, there we go. Let's do some damage. Our shields are holding up okay. There we go. Nanobots. What's that supposed to be? Let's see. Oh, it's just... Uh, I think nanobots are used to repair things. And here's a tech container. Shield. XC. Passive device. Extra charge edition of the shield. Is it just a better version? Oh, it's way fewer hit points. Have the shield increasing recharge rate, shorter shutdown delays. It's just better, but hit points is less. I'm going to swap this time and scrap our old device. And that's another container there. They're onto me. They're onto me? Okay. Some more are coming. So I'm just going to try warp out of here before they get to me. Come on, let's go. Can I move when this is happening? Yeah, okay. There we go. I don't want to fight those guys. Let's warp to the final destination of this sector, and we're going to travel over. All right. So things are going pretty well here. We're going to end here. There's the jump gate. Jump gates are the primary method of travel between systems. These were built by Grady and Brunt prospects for their mining drones to reach areas more efficiently. Okay, thanks for the introduction. Now you want me to use this? It is the only way to the next sector. So, yes. Right. So, let's have a quick look around here. Seems like they're attacking me now. Those two... Oka fighters, Oka drones. Okay, we might be able to take these guys. There we go. Took care of one. That drone. We've lost our shield, so we've got to be what careful here. What else can you tell me about this end of the galaxy? Cluster 34, also known as the Belter Grades. A group of systems approximately 1,000 light years from the Sol system. Mapped to precision in the 24th century, but unexplored by colonials until the 30th. Demarcation lines between colonial and native Okar interests are still in dispute. All right, so as you can see, there is quite a bit of story behind all of this, which is quite interesting. I've only been experiencing a little bit of it, but uh, here we go. Let's head over to the jump gate. There doesn't seem to be much else in this sector. I don't see anything anyway. But yeah, you can see flying the ship feels really satisfying. I mean, I'm using a mouse and keyboard here, but just sort of flying it around, controlling it. You can get quite a lot of maneuverability here, especially once you start speeding things up. And uh, yeah, it's just really good. It's really satisfying flying that around. Anyway, here's a jump gate. We're just going to fly on through it. Here we go. And that's going to be the end of Sector 1 on this run. And well, let's see what this sector has in store for us. We can have a look, quick look at the sector, the star map. It's again a short one, no problem. And it seems like two factions are fighting here. There's the Outlaws and the GNB. Now, the GNB are f generally friendly, but uh, it seems like there's a lot more Outlaws. Oh, there's an Outlaw Scout MK2 there. Might not be quite as pleasant. But uh, this sector is a little interesting. There's a few structures here. I'm not sure, is that a... They've locked onto you. Oh, here we go. Let's try help out the local fighters a little bit. Come on, let's get this guy. Take him out, okay, good. Result. Result indeed. Uh, so there's the GNB fighters, don't want to start fighting them, but we'll try and get these outlaws. Come on. The level of destruction is 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 breathtaking. 
Indeed. Hostilities only <laughs> ceased when resources were exhausted, forcing both sides to the negotiating table. The demilitarized zone was created as a buffer zone, monitored by the Okar authorities. Only time will heal the rift between the species. Oh, that's actually quite interesting. Anyway, it seems like... Oh, there's one more left there. Outlaw Scout. But I think we're going to be okay. It seems like these GNB fighters have things under control. Let's uh, check out... There was a big ship somewhere around here. Uh, where was it? Did I... Uh... Is that it? There we go. You can lose your way in space quite easily. I just want to see if these are anything interesting. It looks like uh, they're just GNB stuff. So nothing too much. Why, Why does this vessel appear with a skull? Good this question. This is to highlight a superior fighter. It will be harder to take down. We'll have to see about that. Uh, no, we will not see about that. Let's just uh, head on over to the next bit here. Um, I'm not going to be fighting that guy with the skull. <laughs> so again, watch the top right. 44 fuel here. So the fuel is important because it's going to take fuel to travel. But you do make a quite quick progress. There we go. We've only got... Uh... A jump suppressor is active nearby. That's not good. Oh. Well, do something about it. Find it and disable it. The higher the signal strength, the closer you are. A jump suppressor? Okay. I might not make it out of this. I hate drones. Let's see if we can make it out of this alive. For a demilitarized zone, this place sure sees a lot of action. The demilitarized zone is the boundary established between colonial and Okar claims after the war. The buffer zone is intended to last until a longer peace can be settled. Since the Okar had prior claim, they hold authority over the zone. The treaty stipulates no colonial fleet presence, although there are colonial mining interests at work in the area. And then, of course, the outlaw elements. Of course. Right. Uh, I'm about to die yet, so I might not make it out of this. Let's just try our best. All right, got that guy. Now, where's this next guy? Ooh, where'd he go? He's up there. All right, here we go. Okar fighter, you're going down. There we go. Fantastic. Oh, I got an achievement. Destroy 10 Okar units in a single run. Very nice. All right, so. There's just some light fighters. There's some scrap there. We should grab that. But uh, not much fuel. We'll grab these credits. That's quite a bit of credits. Huh, but where's the... I have lost my scanner. Oh, I, I think the scanner was... Uh, let's try build something new. Craft a consumable. Damage limiter. Energy in... Scanning probe. Oh, we don't have enough gas. Damn it. I did use... Uh, I thought the scanner was a device, but turns out the scanner was a consumable. And I used them all up. Uh, but where can we get some gas? I have no idea. What's this thing? You've been detected. I've been detected? There's a mineable ore there. Oh, it's a missile silo. Oh, that's not good. Oh, damn Mines it. Mines have flickering lights so <laughs> you can see them. Can it be any more obvious? Um, now, nah, hey. I didn't see the mines there. But I set some new records. Fantastic. <laughs> so it's a roguelite. And basically that's Everspace in its current state. Now, I do have a bunch of credits here, which I could use to buy a whole bunch of things. Device and consumables. I think I would like to upgrade that. Get a bunch of those. Jump drives. Extend your fuel tank, increasing the maximum number of jumps. Current is four, level up is five. So there's a, some nice things here. Nanobot efficiency increases the amount of hull hit points repaired by one nanobot. Oh, very nice. Defense, engine, and there's a bunch of stuff here. But in general, I'm gonna back out of this. And that is Everspace from Rockfish Games. Now again, they did send me a review code, and uh, in general, it does feel a lot like FTL mixed with the No Man's Sky flying, trying to reach the center of the galaxy thing. But I do have to say, 
that it does actually feel very fun for a roguelite. And it does have a lot of, surprisingly, it has a lot of character. I was not expecting it to have that kind of voice acting, that kind of story uh, behind the Everspace universe. And all of these factions, it, it's, it's something that's actually a little bit surprising. And it does sort of indicate that Everspace is going to have a lot more depth behind its gameplay. And it's not just going to be a space fighter roguelite as you fly through and shoot things and collect resources to craft little things like that. The focus does seem a lot on the fighting, and I can tell you the fighting does feel very responsive. It feels very good. Like, I feel like when I die, it is my fault. And I think that's very important in any of these sort of... Uh, combat elements that it is my personal incompetence that that makes me fail not the the game being badly designed but in general that's been my encounter with everspace hope you enjoyed it and found it useful you can check it out links are in the description thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video